good morning how are you how is everyone thank you so much for coming back here at rosalo uh so <laughs> today i'm going to share a vlog with you guys on how we spend our valentines how we spend our valentines so this upcoming video is on how the sarlo spent 14th of february 2022 so I hope you enjoyed the video uh, uh, apparently um, most of the times we spend the time all of us as a family we go everywhere together we follow each other unless it's a very official commitment that does not need uh, all of us to be there or that would exclude any of us but um, we usually go all of us together so in this particular vlog um, it is going to be two of us two of us are not going to be there <laughs> Rashad is not going to be there because he's in school and uh, also Rashid is not going to be there because he's also in school. So we are going to have my hubby, myself, uh, Rashon and Rashariela. We are actually going to town to do errands. So come with us. Let's go to town um, and uh, do some errands. So where uh, one of the things that I, I want to share with us even as we go to town is the importance of spending time together as a family so come let's go to town let's go to nairobi this monday come with us so it's on monday at around 10 a.m and we are headed to town um we are just leaving our place of residence so we are going to town we live in a in machakos county so we are headed to nairobi county it's a, such a privilege <laughs> so as the sellers we go to town i will be sharing with us guys some of the lessons we have learned or i have learned personally uh, on the importance of a family spending time together so we started spending time together as a family in 2020 when covid hit like really spending a lot of time together of course abby uh, my husband and I spend a lot of time together because we work together in the same office. Uh, so we go together and we come home together. But at some point, it's like our children were not really part of that spending time together. So I will be sharing with us what the some of the lessons we have learned from sharing uh, spending time together. Where are you going? Okay, so let's see Kamama. Kamama. Rashan, she smile at a dog. You don't want to smile. Smile. So let's say for us as the Sarlowas, COVID was a blessing in disguise because uh, in as much as there are so many challenges that came with COVID and affected okay. us and at some point. Um, where are you going? Okay, so let's see Kamama. At some point, COVID Kamama. really affected us, um, and just like any other Kenya. But one of the lessons that I have learned uh, during that time is the importance of family, the importance of family and the importance of building a relationship with one another. Yes, we were spending a lot of time with uh, my husband, but the children were not part of it. So we kind of know each other, but we needed our children also to be part of it. So we intentionally decided are going now to make it very intentional to spend time with one another so there were ways of um, our how we decided to work it out so we decided that we will not have somebody live with us uh, for some time so that we get to bond with one another um, I think when it is just uh, the two the has the husband wife and children or it's just you your family members Maybe you are just the two of you as sisters and there's no outsider. Uh, you get to understand each other because you quarrel about uh, small things. Like, of course, they are not small as 
uh, we might think uh, cleaning dishes we argue about uh, slippers we argue about a uh, towel and so on and so forth so we decided that we were we are not going to have so we we were not going to have somebody living with us uh, so if somebody was going to come they were going to come visit and go so that we also have an opportunity to just be a family to get to know one another of course that sounds very selfish <laughs> <laughs> yes, but um, we realized that our family was growing apart, so we decided, ah, we are bonding here with Mr. Husband, and the children are not bonding. Like today, it was uh, Rashan's first day in town, the first day in Amatatu, because he is always at home. So we decided to be, to be carrying our children. To be carrying our children everywhere we go so that we can experience life together. Let them be part of what we do. Let them be part of our life is so that they know, uh, they know, they see us practice life. They see us, uh, they see us being believers and experiencing life really. Uh, so that is what we have done. So it has helped us bond. So when you spend time together, when you spend time with your family, there are a lot of things, definitely a lot of things that are going to change. You are going to understand who your children really are. You are going to understand who your spouse really is. You are going to understand uh, to see them in their true element, how they behave when they are tired, how they behave when they are, they are under pressure. And how they treat other people out there, really. You know, we can stay in the house and be telling our children, you should be kind to people, you should be treating people with respect, you should be doing this, you should be doing this, but they have really never seen you do. Uh, so when you spend time with your children, like really good time, they are able to see you do what you tell them to do. Uh, so... That is that has that has been very important aspect of our lives uh, as a family. So most people that know us know that we move with our kids everywhere we go, and it has really helped us. Of course, it has not been easy. It is very tough, uh, but in the tough times, or as it has been so tough in the hardship of it, we have gotten to bond. So there. Are, we are still getting to understand our children and getting to understand one another and growing our family with one another and growing our marriage. But we have an opportunity to understand one another and actually to be able even to call one another out and say, that is wrong. Uh, Dad, why did you do that? Mom, why did you do that? Or sweetie, why did you do that? Or so on and so forth. So it is very important yeah, that has helped us as we have spent yeah, yeah, together. together. Because when, you read, when I read the scriptures, actually when Abraham was, was called by God to go to a land he did not know about, uh, he was told, take your family and go to a land you did not know about. Uh, you do not know about. And he believed by faith and did that. Uh, that is in... Uh, Hebrews. So when uh, I think there's a call for the family to be together uh, in the mission of God, in reflecting Christ, in John, representing Christ in all aspects of our John. lives, uh, getting to see uh, our children, getting to see our children, see our children getting to see us live for Christ. So that Where's they don't get to a place and we have, we have no relationship. Yeah, and of course, the biggest is Umeja when you Kodari. spend time with your children, when you Siti spend Hopa. time with one another, Gari you anani. get to um, actually and truly you get to build a relationship with one another. So that uh, your relationship, as I mean, your, your bond goes beyond being the mm -hmm. I, I, Our bond has gone uh, beyond being the sellers and we've gotten to understand one another so this has been our day we have spent the day together um we have done errands together and the business of being in nairobi is over no it's our time to go home so we are actually headed home so yeah when you 
you can consider please consider spending time with your family spending time with your sister spending time with your brothers or spending time with your mom or your loved ones that way you see these are the people that matter and i think the call during covid was let's go get back to family let's get back to family of course it's a lot of work like we've spent a lot of time time in town together and gone through the traffic together we've had to leave the car somewhere and use a matatu but we have also had to, had to <laughs> interesting all right we have been looking at the life of christ as uh, portrayed to us through the writers uh, matthew mark and luke and we have made references to what the apostle john adds to that narrative in order to be able to understand what christ came to do so we have covered a number of things and today i want us to uh, look at uh, the kingdom of God, uh, the fear of the kingdom of God, as revealed in the Synoptic Gospels, and then look at the parables of Jesus, and lastly the miracles of Jesus. And I believe that uh, we shall be done uh, by, by by that. By uh, we shall be done with this uh, study uh, by the end of the next one hour. So uh, you will remember. Hi guys, By the, um, thank you for being part of our day today. Uh, so in town today I got this uh, organize, not organizers, uh, storage containers. Yeah, I want to use them to organize my food. Uh, so for rice, maize flour and something else I'll be putting there. But my most amazing one was this one. So I got this at the same place. So I'll be using this for my cooking oil and I really love it. I love how it looks like. But before then, um, uh, I was taking Habi to Tao to go and get, to do an errand for himself. But I decided, mm, why not go check uh, this stuff so i got this apparently i didn't get the labels for all of them so but, we've uh, been in town we and we are find. all tired happy so, as to as a class to catch up with and they continue catching up with that the kids are watching and um, the small one is sleeping we call her kamama so i have to prepare some quick supper here uh for people to eat uh just a quick supper so this is part of the sadwas quick supper what we make when we are in a when we are late because it's almost uh, 8 p.m. and the kids will be sleeping soon and then uh, we will be headed to bed so basically guys um, that is it of course you see it's, it's a lot of work guys it is a lot of work because if we had somebody living with us we would come home and find separate but when uh, you don't have then you have to do it by yourself so and um, that also comes with it challenges but the most important is that you get to practice christianity uh practically you get to live practically as believers you get to to demonstrate demonstrate christ likeness to one another you are able to be you know if it is the husband is able to love christ uh, to love the wife as christ loved the church if it is the children they are able to obey if it is parenting it we are able to do that in a in a christ way so and our children get we get that bond with our children so yes that is it it is tough but guys it is worth it thank you so much for watching god bless you here is, this is the end of this video and we are glad You can't seem to find it. Where did it go? Even that bread has egg on it. What? Your bread you are eating, it has egg on it.